In an uncertain world, moving forward comes down to one thing, making things. Because making things does more than produce goods. It produces knowledge, stability, and pride. Making things makes creativity flourish, economies expand, societies transform. Making things makes us human. In the 1920s, light bulbs lasted 2,500 hours. Today, they last only 1,000 hours. What happened? The first nylon stockings on the market were made to last. What happened then? They time those things. They time them. So when you finally paid for them, they're used up. The answer is a hidden mechanism at the heart of the consumer society. Planned obsolescence. The desire on the part of a consumer to own something a little newer, a little sooner than is necessary. Oh, hey guys, I'm looking at the newest, coolest gadget that's about to be released. Top of the line, amazing! And you can call me crazy for saying it, but I think this is the thing that's going to make me truly happy for the rest of my life. And it definitely won't be deemed irrelevant within three years. Planned obsolescence is not only about deceiving the consumer, it also threatens the planet through a constant stream of toxic waste. Posterity will never forgive us. Posterity will suddenly find out about they throw away lifestyles of people in the advanced countries. When did we become so careless, so reckless, apathetic, and submissive? When did we lose our connection with others, with community and family? Stop focusing on the differences and start acknowledging and building upon our common grounds. Start sharing, connecting, teaching one another, and learning from each other as well. A new generation of businessmen is looking for bright new ideas. I think business and sustainability go hand in hand. It's actually the best basis to build a business on. Can we free ourselves from the tyranny of planned obsolescence? <laughs>